But I do want to jump into Canboard plugins. Honestly, there are quite a bit out there. Mm. Honestly, I was going through the list on Canboard site and they just have this very vanilla like text search JavaScript thing, basically filtering. It's not fancy search at all. It's just basically filtering by keyword. But I put together a list of what's out there. I kind of broke it down into four categories and I kind of just want to walk through what we've got out there. My favorite is what what Canboard puts on their website for yeah. the plugins page. Yeah, <laughs> I had to put it. I had to put it up on the doc on our documentation. It's uh, <laughs> there is no approval process and code review. Mm -hmm. This is up to you to validate compatibility of these plugins <laughs> with your Canboard instance. <laughs> that one made me laugh so hard because, like, all right, so you're just saying I can run this thing on my Canboard instance. Well, what does it do? <laughs> well, like I said, this is why I like PHP, man. I can just like copy stuff into a directory and it starts working. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get into how you developed your mm. plugin. So just for everyone's awareness, Andrew did write a plugin. I tried to find it. It's not out on the site. It's at a 0 0.01 version, but we'll get into that a little bit later. I just want to go over some main uh, plugins here. We're a podcast, so what's the best way to explain this? Pictures and video, charts, graphs, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, right. That's how we yeah. do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I guess the easiest way to get started is top right next to your name when you log into Camboard, you click the down arrow uh, near your avatar, and there's a plugins button. Where does it take you? Basically, you got two options. List your current plugins and add plugins. I break these ca uh, these plugins down into four categories, and without further ado, here they are: hmm. functionality, webhooks and communications, one authentications, another, and themes. I felt like those four broke it down pretty well, uh, especially for you know Camboard being a web app. Um, I didn't feel like there was anything more or less going on, but you know, functionality, kind of breaking it into uh, what you can do, what more you can do with tasks and subtasks. Uh, one of the favorites I had out there was that you're able to assign uh, due dates to subtasks. So we have that one out there uh, that we use basically to make sure that subtasks are completed on time. The other functionality related plugin that we have that we really like is uh, the group assignment. So in Camboard, you're only able to assign one person to a task by default. Now, I don't know if there are plans to be able to assign a group. I don't know what the maintainer is going to say. I, I think it's a great feature. It's already a plugin. So basically what you can do is you can take your task and assign it to two people. You can assign it to more than one person at a time, which is helpful for, I guess again, the podcast. It's very easy for us to both sit down and say, all right, this is what we're going to do. And you know, it's assigned to both of us so we both know when we're both aware. I'd say those we use the most but the next major category I have is webhooks and communications. I'll tell you what, we don't use webhooks and communication. I was looking at integrating it with uh, GitLab. The overhead to get that set up is quite a bit for a payoff that is, hey, we manage all our tasks in Canboard anyway. When you're taking on these webhooks and the communication platforms, it's uh, it's a complete beast. They offer out of the box SMTP. You know, you can send emails out of the box with it. I'll, I'll list off the plugins they have here for, you know, integrating chat. So it's off the top of the list here. It's Matrix, HipChat, Rocket Chat, Telegram, Bitbucket, GitT, GitLab, GitHub, and Gogs. They they actually, they, someone has implemented their own chat. Have you seen that? Like, you can have an inside of a Canboard chat. Yeah. Oh, it's like, yeah, For it says, quote, for smaller teams. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> yeah, what they, maybe that. not I for have... hundreds of users or whatnot, but yeah, it, <laughs> there's legit, like, a built-in chat that you can use yeah. inside of Canboard. <laughs> and, like you said, the very first thing you said, Matrix. Like, I didn't even know that's, yeah. that's new. Like, I didn't yeah. I didn't know that yeah. was a thing. That's ridiculous. Yeah. That's cool. Um, yeah, I... I haven't looked at this plugin page in a while, and I swear it has ha it has to have grown. It totally has. They got a wiki? Oh, I want to try this wiki. Yeah, thing. yeah. Wiki. Okay, so I have wiki set up on my personal board, and I like it. It's a uh, part of, I think, the project configuration page. There's just like 
another <clears throat> tab almost mm. for wiki mm -hmm. so it's cool i i'll tell you what i haven't nearly filled it out sure just because that's your personal board <laughs> yeah it's right i right i don't need to right uh, i have a pretty good idea of what's going on but to document everything on a wiki pretty nice to have it's it's even nicer when you consider like there's there's a dearth of project management tools for Camboard. Camboard is pretty much a a bare bones Kanban system, and some something like that could really add a a whole nother level to it, where it becomes a project management system with its own documentation. And like we were talking about, um, we were talking about searching tasks after they're closed to reference comments or stuff like that right if, yeah if you yeah. have if you have some kind of procedure that that makes sure to archive all those things those things are now searchable and it does become like a a knowledge base it does have that 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 characteristic of being something that you can go back and refer to rather than it's like oh yeah i know someone did something once upon a time let me see if i can find it so i'll tell you what while we're on the topic there is i believe a plugin for full i think it's full text search i believe it's a search plugin I, I don't know if it indexes better or what it does but there's a plugin out there that does i, I want to call it better search it said this plugin is created for advanced full text search within all projects the search will be performed in task title task description task comments subtask title and in attachments. Oh, that's awesome. That's okay. awesome. All right. So it's out there. It's out there. Yeah. Yeah. And like we said, Camboard is fairly stable. And by fairly stable, I mean it really doesn't change. Right. Almost at all. I, I've not seen any major part of its interface change since I've been using it. And something like this, you know, I see last touch, you know, 13 months ago and in the open source world, you know, that may raise a couple eyebrows, but it being simply for Camboard, that's going to work. That is absolutely going to work. It's probably in, you know, kind of a maintenance mode type thing, unless Camboard comes out with some major, you know, plugin maintainers going to have to look at that. But honestly, it's nothing's really changing. So. That gets us into our third major category, which is authentication. So again, you have all kinds of providers out there for uh, authentication. Now, the one thing I didn't see was LDAP. Now, I don't, because I don't know if that comes built in by default. It's built in by default. Okay. Okay. We, you know, group of two people, personal board, it's, it's as easy as user management via the user management interface they provide with the authentication plugins. You can basically just plug into a major provider. Yeah. Let's see here. The major ones being, so CAS is out there and then you got GitHub, GitLab, uh, Google, you can authenticate with IMAP. And then what Andrew, I think was trying to do at one point in time is reverse proxy. I was trying to do SAML authentication actually. Okay. That was that was a migraine um, and a half. Like I said, we use regular Camboard user man user and group management. It's two people. You do, we don't need you know crazy authentication measures to get in, but they're they're out there. The other thing I would note along with authentication is uh, that I didn't mention is two factor. The Camboard documentation said there's a way to set up two factor. I think just out of the box. So. I don't know if that's built in or it's a plugin, but either way it's out there. That's Camboard. I mean, it's, it, it provides a whole bunch of interfaces. I mean, at the end of the day, shoot, it's a, it's a board that is a front end for a database, which is why it's just been so easy to, to use and develop against and test. And it's, I, I honestly, it's, it's very simple and straightforward to work with. I, I, I love that. I love that about it. Definitely, you know, for, for every, all you CSS junkies out there like Andrew, how could we not skip themes? Themes. So I need more pictures on the documentation. Camboard out of the box comes in a light theme. It's, I'm sorry, it's not great. <laughs> no. I, it's terrible. No, it's not. <laughs> I was looking, so I was going through their documentation and it had been, you know, 
actually quite a bit of time, and I was looking, I was like, ew, that is, that board is disgusting. But lucky for us, there are plugins out there that have been written for dark theme. There's a moon theme. There's an essential theme, and there's a, cu- a full-on customizer. So if you really want to get after it with your CSS, you can do so. But the one we use is Nebula, and it's a dark theme. And I'll tell you what, it's it's perfect. On my personal board, I use the customizer plugin. With that, basically, I'm able to add a random background. I think it goes to Upsplash dot com random picture and just pulls a random one so some days it's something good some days it's not but why do you like doing that that's like the second yeah. time you've done that <laughs> i like it <laughs> just a random picture Man. at like 4k quality it takes like a minute for the page to load but hey it's there <laughs> can't go wrong with it so i was looking up on my personal it- blog Something yeah. way out of the past, way out Uh-oh. of the past. Yeah. Back in uh, back in 2017, I have a post here, and I have a screenshot here of my custom CSS that I implemented on top of Camboard because I am that cool. You're, that's gonna be you're gonna have to share that because I am that cool. Uh, it's dark mode. It is actually the exact same background as is currently on my blog right now. Yeah. You're going to have to post that. You're going to have yeah. to... Do you have a screenshot of it? Uh, I do, yeah. I actually probably have the source code still somewhere, but... <laughs> Hanging around. Yeah, I definitely I definitely have a screenshot of it. All right, how about that? Custom CSS. I I, I knew you were a CSS junkie out there. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> right, no, your CSS no, no. code over there. <laughs> so those are the major four uh, categories, I'd call it out there. Mm-hmm. But... You've written one. I've written two. one and worked on several. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, do you want to kind of describe what it's like writing one? So, one thing I am not is a developer, and I know this because <laughs> I don't develop. I I throw things into production instances and tweak them as I go along. <laughs> For instance, uh, earlier today, Jack, when I was talking to you about Rails code, <laughs> I literally went into your program and just started changing code on the development server. Sure, yeah. Uh, in order to get the notification to work. And I'm just in there, like like I installed Vim on the server. I know it's a cardinal sin, but whatever. Yeah, okay, hey, whatever, right? <laughs> and and I'm on there and, and just changing your code willy-nilly, trying to get these notifications to work. And sure enough, I do, as long as I reload the page enough times. <laughs> <laughs> it's much like that because it is written all in PHP and plugins are in PHP. There is a pretty straightforward plugin architecture to follow as far as directory wise goes, you know, model view controllers. Like if, if you understand that and, and really I hate writing stuff from scratch. It is just the worst. So the first thing <laughs> I did uh, in in order to implement something is I took something that was already implemented and copied it uh, and renamed it. <laughs> so now I had the same thing. It, it was doing the same thing, but under a different name. And I'm like, all right, that's great. So I, I can at least rename it. And then I went everywhere in the code where it had that name and renamed every all of those instances. So, so I, <laughs> I renamed everything and it all worked. And I was like, all right, great. Um, and, and keep in mind, I'm doing this all on a live production server and just like refreshing the web page in my browser to make sure it works. Once again, this is why I'm not a developer. So as I'm going through, uh, there's, there's a couple things I had to touch. There was, uh, there was a couple controllers, uh, that I had to do to get the right information. And then once I got that, there was a lot of JavaScript and, and a lot of the logic lived in the JavaScript. Uh, that got sent to the browser in order for it to, to, to process it and, and return a, a value on it. So, so one of the things I, I did was create an analytics tab, uh, that tracked the complexity metric that Jack and I use. So we set a complexity metric on, on all of our tasks, uh, and I simply added them all up at one week intervals and display the total in a graph format. So, so the first thing I did was, was to grab a plugin that displayed something like that. I think it was time tracking in that graph like format. Uh, and then I had to go in and, and change the source. 
and really it's just a, a whole bunch of trial and error in javascript to, to get this thing working and there's a lot of hard-coded defaults in there that i don't like like for for one uh, the last column has to be named done in order for this plugin to work right it doesn't take the last column okay. in whatever board okay. you're on it takes the column that's named done done <laughs> <laughs> this is why I'm not a developer. After I get that done um, and, and I go through through that, I, I have what is in essence just a, a working plugin. And all I do on any instance that I need it is copy that folder because it is a folder that is actually on one of our volumes. Let's copy that folder over to, to any old server and refresh a web page and, and that's now suddenly available to us since complexity is something that's implemented in the base cam board project you know it doesn't need a a separate plugin to have complexity it's just there ready and available to us so i've copied that over into several instances to test out other things but uh that's that's literally all it takes uh, the other thing that i've been tinkering around with is the calendar type plugin so it displays yeah. the tasks on a built-in calendar uh in canboard now canboard does have the ability so you can subscribe to iCal feeds and and get like the calendar on your phone if you will the yeah. same that you can do with nextcloud but this is a built-in one in camboard and it's nice and what i wanted to implement is a drag and drop where you could actually drag a task from one day to the other if you wanted to change its due date um and and, and do that uh, maybe even expand them as well i was working on it a couple nights ago just because i was i wanted to get back into that that's been what on my to-do list for a couple months now honestly uh and actually so uh frederick uh, the author and maintainer of canboard uh, has since marked that as not actively developed anymore so uh, if i wanted to get something in there i would have to implement it myself and then publish it myself uh, which i could to this this list here so there is a, a process to do that that's not something i have gone through yet um but Doing that with a plugin that's already established there is going to be a lot easier than doing that with my hacked oh. together complexity <laughs> I, analytics measurement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. That's awesome, though. So I plan to do that first. Uh, and and honestly, of all the projects, of all the projects that we use, I think I'd be most comfortable with this one, not only because I use it the most, uh, but because it is just also so stable and, and really doesn't change that often. So uh, I, I'm, I'm comfortable with it and, and just implementing those stuff that I would really like to see for myself. So is that calendar plugin, is it on the list? Is it, is it available or is it just not actively developed? It's available. One of the things... It's just not maintained, essentially. It has been marked as not installable by the plugin button on an individual Kboard instance. But, and, and, and this is another thing about plugins. I don't know if you're planning on touching about this, but like installation functionality. So there is the, the plugin method where you could actually just like go into your instance and search what plugins are available. Some are not available via that method. Sure. Right. They have to be added to the directory. Correct. You have to go in and actually add them. No, I'm glad you brought that up because I know, for us, at least, when we were setting up Camboard initially, uh, and I wanted to get GitLab webhooks in, because we're running Camboard as a Docker instance, we didn't have the plugins folder passed. As a volume, yeah. Yeah, right, passed as a volume to the container. I was unable to install everything. I mean, since now we have that fixed, but yeah. I just remember having a heck of a time with any kind of plugins. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So I'm going actually right to the, the plugin calendar source on GitHub here, but it's it's really straightforward. So you, you do have the choice between the three methods, right? So there's, there's installing the plugin from the Canboard plugin manager in one click. There's also downloading the zip file, the release that they he, he used to produce, and decompressing everything under the plugins directory. And then cloning that repository using like git clone into that same folder. So eventually it's going to end up in that same location, right? So it's, it is three ways to install it, but there's also like really only one. You just got to get all the files into that location. Um, how you keep it updated, that is a little bit different. That's why I think the git method is probably going to be best. Yep. Yeah. Either, either that or the, the cam boards built in plugin manager. Cause that'll, that'll auto update it for yeah. you. Yeah. 
the the other thing is that it needs to be named according to the actual plugin like that the plugin hierarchy like I, I said the first thing I did was rename it um, after I, I I copied the old plugin after I was working on my complexity one and I did that because you can't have this the plugin show up unless the name matches everything else. It's just the logic that Camboard implements. So um, when you do make that clone, you have to clone it down to a specific directory name, and then you have to own the files to make sure that the web server can serve those files correctly. Do you have anything else to add? Any comments? I think you're going to have to put up a picture of the... Uh... The CSS? Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, I don't know. But yeah, I was like, I was like, I did CSS on that. I remember that. Once upon a time. Once upon a time. It looked pretty too. Like it really looked pretty. There are a million plugins out there. Mm-hmm. That's my closing remark. There aren't a million. I'll tell you what. Nextcloud probably has more. But for what you're doing with Canboard, the plugins that are provided and that are out there, you're pretty much filling up every every kind of need or gap that the original application has, if you want to call it is kind of being filled with a plugin. It, I imagine if you want it, it's out there. And not only that, but if you don't find one, right? That's the well there's 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 two options at that point. There's the write your own plugin option, which is the one I opt for in in a couple scenarios. Then there's the also well, we provide runners option in that if you're looking for a GitHub integration or GitLab integration that's not necessarily as hard to set up or really as intense as something like this, maybe maybe having a single script run against it periodically is going to take care of exactly what you need to do. If you just need a little cleanup here and there or if, or if you just want to tweak something, once again, Camboard has a very nice API. Like I said, their internal structure is very clean. It's very solid. And, and that's something that can be set up and maintained fairly easily. Uh, something that, that we do as well. Uh, so if, if you don't see what you're looking for in these plugins or, or if you have, you have your ideal scenario in mind and you just can't seem to get it there, let us know and we'll see if that's something we can help out with. I mean, that's, I'd say that's what we're here for. We're here to help you guys get set up. So.